Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tom Cat Stitchery. I'm a Whitney and I'm here. I had a very exciting delivery today. I'm filming this video very late. This is Monday I'm filming this um, because I was waiting for a package to arrive um, which I want to talk about a little bit more in detail here in a second. Um, but yeah, I shopped the Minerva sale. Uh, when was that? Good night. Let's see. It wasn't that long ago. Um, that last weekend of April, I feel like. Anyway, Minerva does a, I think they're called the Craft Club Sales, and where everything on the site is 10% off. But if you're a Craft Club member, um, which I, I do, um, I am a Craft Club member. I think it's like 20 pounds for the year to be a craft club member but you automatically get 10% off everything no matter what and it for me because I I shop so much from Minerva it pays for itself like that so um, it helps with the with the conversion rate is my experience because the uh, Great British pound is uh, valued higher than the US dollar right now and so it helps with that um, taking that 10% off helps the numbers even out a little bit better <laughs> anyway um, but they have a big sale where you can get an additional 10% off with if you're a craft club. So it comes up to 20% off. And um, I like to take advantage of those just for some things that I need to um, fill my stash. I was trying to be very smart about this. Um, but honestly, my daughter came into play big time on this one. Actually, the last one they did, they do like three, two, three, four a year. Um, and the last one they did was in January. And I bought almost everything for my daughter. I'm trying to think. Like I got myself maybe one thing. Um, and that's kind of the same way here. So I wanted to go through and show you what I got from the Minerva sale, but I also want to show you, I've pulled some things from my stash as well um, and kind of talk you through the plans for my daughter um, going forward for the next few months. Um, I like to have kind of a, a running list of plans for her because um, I've started batch cutting out my projects and I like to do five at a time. That's a nice number. Um, and I'll do four projects for myself and one for her. Um, sometimes that changes, you know, if I'm working on a deadline or something or sometimes she'll have two in the five. But I like to have everything cut out and then I can kind of sew through them um, when I have just a few minutes and I'm finding I'm much more efficient. In fact, you can see I have two uh, Vernon shirts that are up there um, and I have a, my Rhapsody blouse that's also up there. Um, that'll be on the channel here soon so you can see all those. But I had those in addition to, um, Oh, so I had a pattern test and a couple of other things. Anyway, I had those all cut out and I was able to sew those much quicker than had I just waited and sewn a project when I had time to like cut it out and get started. Um, I'm just finding myself even quicker than normal, so it's very exciting. <laughs> But I wanted to have some plans set aside for her so that um, as I uh, get into things, I, you know, can just, I don't have to worry about, you know, finding her if she's at school or whatever. I know, okay, here's the list of some things we've decided on without it being too overwhelming and I can just go ahead and get things made up. All right, let's talk about the Minerva sale really quick. So um, I bought everything that's here I bought with my own money. I, just so we're clear. Now I do have affiliate links with Minerva, which means um, any of the fabric that you buy from the links down below, I get a commission. Minerva pays me a small commission, um, which is what an affiliate link is. You guys don't get charged anymore or any of that, but Minerva does pay, pay me a small commission. So I just want to be upfront about that. But none of this is fabric that was gifted to me because um, so, I do do some stuff with their brand ambassadors. Um, I have a couple of pieces actually um, in my on my by my table right now, but all of this was purchased with my own money, including all the stash pieces. Um, it was all bought with my own money, so just just so we're clear on that. But okay, so the sale for Minerva was well, I, it was the 29th because um, I had a kit that went up on the 30th and they moved it. So it was the weekend of the 30th and 31st. God, this came really fast because today is the 9th. So I um, was gone. I was in Chicago that weekend, and on Sunday I came home and did some shopping because I wanted to shop the sale and got my daughter involved and we were looking at a few things. You know, I have a few of their fabrics, that, like their cotton jersey spandex that I love and looking at some colors that I might want, you know, in my stash um, that I did buy and just a few other things. And um, so I bought it on Sunday. I think sometimes when they do a big sale like that, it doesn't necessarily dispatch the next day. Like like it may be two days later, um, just because I'm sure their warehouse is uh, slammed, which makes sense. But it got dispatched, and I think I've, I think it's been like just not even a week. I don't even think it's been a week 
because I'm filming this on Monday and it came today. But they shipped it, um, in the past they have shipped things through uh, Royal Mail so that when it gets to me, it comes through the post office. So their Royal Mail does all their thing that ships it over here and then goes to the post office. But this was the first time that DHL actually delivered it, which is the um, worldwide um, shipping company. <laughs> you know, like UPS or FedEx, you know, DHL, um, which is actually the same company that the fabric store down in New Zealand uses. And I find that things come super quickly. So I was very shocked that this came as quickly as it did. Um, yeah, so less, well, from the day that I ordered it, it's been a week and one day from the day that I ordered it. And I ordered it on a Sunday. Uh, but I don't think it dispatched the next day because I, th I think it was a couple of days because, you know, with sales, a lot of times it takes just a little bit to dispatch. Super super quick. I was very impressed um, with how quickly it got to me. <laughs> okay, so that's just a little note on Minerva. Okay, I've got this open too. So um, let's go through, let's go through and I'll show you what I got for myself in the sale. Just give you some general idea of why I bought it. I know people like to know, you know, when I'm shopping for the stash, why, what you know, amounts that I buy and all that kind of stuff. So let's go through those pieces first and then I will talk about, um, show you the pieces I got for my daughter, but we'll talk about her plans second in the video. I think that makes the most sense. Of course, I don't have anything stacked in the correct order here. So let me do that real quick. <laughs> I'll come back and we can talk about all of this. <laughs> okay, now that everything's arranged. <laughs> Okay, so I um, knew that I wanted a couple more um, links of um, lengths of the cotton spandex jersey. Um, Minerva has also recently done a, um, a core range. So some of their fabrics, and it's not just solids, it's basically the fabrics that they can get more of. Um, they can reorder, so they're like always available. Um, and it's called the Minerva Core Range. And I noticed that my both my favorite viscose jersey and my favorite cotton spandex jersey is their core range, which is exciting because that means that they'll be getting more and more. And they come in a ton of different colors. But I did know that I wanted a couple more colors of the uh, cotton spandex jersey for myself. Now, um, back in January, I actually bought a couple of colors for my daughter. I bought like a um, kind of a mossy seafoam green color, a pink that you'll see here in a second, um, and a yellow. The yellow I used to make her Carlisle that she's been wearing the tar out of, um, the cashmere at Carlisle, and then I still have the pink and the green um, that I just knew that I'd be making some, you know, knit tops for her at some point. So, um, I knew that I wanted a couple of colors. The first one that I knew that I really wanted was I... The fact that that... This tower is gonna fall at some point. I bought, gosh, how much did I get here? Three meters of just their um, cream, um, which I think they call vanilla maybe. Or maybe it's off white. Anyway, it's my white. <laughs> it's the cream color. It's gonna blow out the camera, sorry. Uh, but I bought three meters of it because I have to replace my white t-shirts, my solid white t-shirts. Um, sometimes I can get two seasons out of them, but um, they just get stained. I am just, you know, I tell my children that they're laundry nightmares, mostly, especially my daughter. She gets paint on everything, on everything. She needs like one of those aprons that has like the long sleeves. Um, and it, she'll even come home and be like, I wasn't even painting today in art. I was, <laughs> I was drawing. I have no idea where this blue paint came from. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> some awareness. But the apple also doesn't fall from the tr far from the tree. I get stuff on myself all the time. So I have my shorts, current short sleeve, um, cashmere at Concord, which is like my go-to, um, uh, t-shirt pattern. I, I just love it. It's my favorite fitted t-shirt pattern. And um, I just bought three meters because I knew that I'll probably be wanting a short sleeve one um, of some various neckline, I don't know what, <laughs> uh, for this summer. And maybe my long sleeve one will need to be replaced here soon. Like once the weather cools off again, we'll wait and see, but this is just good stash. Um, and I bought three meters of it because I thought I can get a few t-shirts out of this. And that's what this will be. I also noticed I have a, I don't have a, a cream colored 
um, cotton tank, like a Summer Basics tank from Loeb Notions. I have a ton of those just in different, I, you know, just as leftover fabric, I'll make one. Um, but I was looking for a uh, cream one and I don't have one. I do have a cream Lago tank, um, which is the free pattern, one of the free patterns from Itch to Stitch, but it's kind of a racer back. I mean, I can wear a bra with it, but it's kind of a racer back and um, I have it made out of a cream colored, uh, the viscose jersey that I love. So, I don't know. I may need one of those as well. We'll just wait and see where the summer takes me. But I did. I bought three meters of that purely for the stash because I knew this is, you know, a basic that I need in my wardrobe and I, I just like to have some on hand because inevitably I need another another white shirt. And then I grabbed this color and I can't remember what this color was called. It's not on the tag. It was like dark blue, co it may even called cobalt. I don't feel like this is cobalt. I feel like this is a royal blue because there's some purple in there. But, which is okay because this is still one of my colors. And oddly enough, this is also um, a very, my daughter and I have a couple of colors. Well, maybe just this blue, really, because she's a cool palette and I'm a warm palette. But we have a, this, it's almost the same color and it's this color, um, which is like a, a darker periwinkle, like a, yeah, kind of like a royal blue, kind of. Um, but anyway, I thought um, I'm gonna make myself a shirt out of it, a t-shirt of some sort. I'm not sure what. I just knew that I wanted to bring in some royal blue in my summer sewing um, and maybe replacing my navy blue with kind of a royal blue for fun, although this isn't quite dark enough. But anyway, um, not replacing it, but using that for my summer um, capsule. I have no idea what the summer capsule colors are, but I was just kind of thinking ahead. And I've got a fabric here that I fell in love with. I was also kind of like, well, I could do the um, the, the bright blue. And I just bought a, um, uh, from Distashify, I got a really cool cotton Swiss dot um, fabric that's in kind of a cobalt blue. So this isn't quite as cobalt as I was thinking, but my daughter really loved it as well. Um, so we may split it. I have two meters here, so I think I could probably get two short sleeve shirts out of this for us. She would like another Carlisle with the um, square neckline, but with a short puff sleeve as opposed to a long puff sleeve. So we're going to play around with that a little bit and see what we can come up with. Um, but yeah. That is what she wants out of this. And um, I'll probably do a t-shirt for myself as well, but we'll see. But that's why I grabbed those two colors. The cream, because it's my light neutral. And I just knew that that was gonna be something I would need um, going forward. I don't know why I'm folding this. That's so gonna go in the wash. <laughs> and then the blue was just a color that I wanted to bring into my summer wardrobe and having, I like having t-shirts in um, maybe not all of the colors of the capsule, but you know, uh, close. <laughs> um, just because I think it just makes it easy to layer things. Although in the summer, I'm not doing as much layering as I am in the other three months. But anyway, I thought that that would be a fun color t-shirt to bring into my wardrobe and just be something a little bit different. And it could be my dark color, like my dark neutral without being, you know, a real dark navy. Um, I wear navy. Navy is not technically on my color card. It's like a, a dark blue. Um, as opposed to to like the dark navy that's almost black. Really, my best neutrals are camel color, like that brown, um, warm camel color, and olive green. Um, but anyway, <laughs> sometimes fudge it a little bit. It's fine. Okay, and then this was the fabric that I, um, and how much of this did I get? two. I got two meters of this. It's a Lady McElroy and I just thought the print was so good and I'm going to continue the orange slash warm red as my pop because that makes me happy in the summer and aren't those fun happy summer colors. Really everything in this fabric, I mean the black's not in my color palette and this bright pink's not, but like this real warm, this yellow is and this um this bright like turquoisey color and even like this kind of pink warm peach color is in my palette but most importantly um the orange <laughs> so i don't know i don't know what this will be i um just printed off the newest pattern for the cashmere i'm not talking about my plans right now but um the newest pattern for the cashmere club is the alton and it's similar to the rhapsody like um with the neckline but it has this really cool sleeve option that's like a pleated sleeve um and it mix and matches with the montrose so um i don't know it may be a shirt kind of like that i may make myself another vernon i may do an aria by love notions but um or even a dress 
I mean, it's cotton lawn, so maybe. But I just thought this was fun, and it just said summer to me, so I grabbed that one for myself. Okay, and then the last one, I actually grabbed this one for my daughter. Um, I think... I can't remember if this is just cotton or if this is a linen cotton blend. It may be just cotton. Um, but I got two meters of this. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember what the, the content is. But um, for a shirt, because it's the yellow and white striped. And my daughter, actually, she'd asked for some yellow. She wanted some more yellow tops because she's enjoying her um, current Carlisle. But I think this is more my yellow and less her yellow. It's a little warm. I mean, I think that it would, you know, because of the white in there, like it would read much lighter. So I don't know. We're going to have to do paper, rock, scissors. But when I look at the yellow with my color card, the yellow that's in there is definitely more my yellow and less hers. It's not as icy. So um, we'll see. But this was supposed to be um, a shirt of some sort. And I think this is a narrower fabric. Maybe not. Maybe this is wide. This may be B54. Um, but yeah, it's just a really pretty, oops, sorry. Just a real pretty white yellow stripe um, for the summer. My daughter is, and I both are pale and sleeves are good for us in the summer, but we want things cool and breezy. So <laughs> we'll see who gets that one. I'll hold it up to her and see um, what I think. Okay, so that's the things that I kind of got for myself-ish from the sale. Um, these next three pieces that I bought from the sale were for her. She picked them out and I've got plans for them. Okay, first thing, I grabbed her this cotton crinkle gauze. It's a double gauze in this beautiful color um, that's on her color chart. I mean, this is like her all day long. And she wants a button-up shirt with this. And we've got some options here. Okay, so I am making with, um, you guys saw it in my Distashify plans. Oh, geez. I'm making this pattern for her, if you see. Um, but we may make, if she likes that real well out of that viscose, we may make her another one or even one of these other options, like maybe just the elastic waist. So, you know, we're going to wait and see on that. But, um, I also grabbed, let's see, and that's McCall's 8198. And then we, I also, um, she likes this one real well too. This McCall's 7978. She likes all the views there. So, um, we'll see, you know, if one of those that she wants to do, or, sorry, these all fell off my lap. This shirt. Um, she really likes the, this is McCall's 8181. She loves the sleeves of this gal, but this may be too covered up for summer. Or maybe even like View A, just everything with View A. So, um, I don't know how cropped that View A is. We may want to lengthen it a little bit. <laughs> We, we don't want it too cropped, but maybe with the sleeves of that. So those are some options, um, but we do think, she does think that she wants a button up, or I might be able to even talk her into doing like um, maybe the Aria. She loved my sister's version that I made. Um, this is a similar fabric, and um, so I maybe, maybe she might want an Aria or even make her another classic shirt and something that she could just tie then if she wanted to, to make it shorter or she could tuck it in, you know, whatever. But it keeps her covered um, so that she's not burning in the summer heat. So there's that fabric for that. And then she picked out, this is linen, and look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this print. Like those are all her, she's a calm summer. These are all her like light and muted colors. Um, and I would call this a shirting weight linen. I mean, maybe like loose flowing pants you might be able to get away with. I mean, it's not real see-through and it's even light colored. So yeah. Um, so we're also thinking a um, structured shirt of some sort, but maybe even some loose pants or uh, shorts. I mean, that could be kind of fun. Now that I'm looking at this, although I have a few other shorts planned here. So um, maybe a shirt to go with all of those and possibly, you know, using all three of these patterns just with the different fabrics. <laughs> so we'll see. But yeah, she loved that. And I just thought that was such a pretty, like, kind of an abstract floral. Um, and those are all her colors. Okay. And then the last one that I grabbed for her in this sale is this beautiful linen and this charcoal gray. Um, this is like her darkest um, neutral that she can wear and this is like perfect for her. And I grabbed, oh, I grabbed two meters of it, but I was gonna make her um, the Pietra shorts from Closet Core Patterns. She loves that um, pattern. And I have had a hard time getting that pattern to fit me correctly. 
but she's so long in the rise and I feel like that's the issue. I feel like with me, um, I just need to play around with the rise a little bit more to get that to work properly on my body. Uh, but I think these are gonna fit her beautifully um, because she's already built super long in the rise anyway. Um, with her very long torso. So these are gonna be a pair of Pietra shorts and she liked how that they were flat in the front but with the comfy elastic in the back. So these are gonna be the Pietras for her. And that was everything that I bought in the sale. So everything else is, that's here came from the um, stash. Okay, so let's continue talking about shorts just because they're all sitting here. She currently has two pairs of shorts in her um, drawer. She has a pair of Dawn shorts that I made her, the Megan Nielsen Dawn uh, shorts that she loves. They're white, wears them all the time. They fit her really well. Um, and then, although I need to do a little bit more of a scoop in the back crotch curve, just a little bit, like maybe a quarter of an inch, and I think they would be absolutely perfect then. Um, the other shorts that she has are a pair just from Old Navy that we got her last summer that she loves, although they, I mean, they're store-bought shorts. Like, you know, I would have been like, oh yeah, these fit you great. But you know, when you know, <laughs> I'm like, I could make those better. Um, anyway, she said she, they're kind of a, a stone wash look, but a little bit darker. But she said she wanted a lighter pair of shorts and she would like another pair of the Megan Nielsen Dawn. I have this light, um, light denim that I got from Style Maker Fabrics with the intention of making her wide leg jeans back last fall that never happened. Um, I'm doing much better about sewing for her now though. So there may be enough of this left for those jeans still once the fall hits, but we're gonna go ahead and make her shorts out of this for now. I actually may go ahead and maybe cut out a pair of jeans and just have those cut out and off to the side until the fall. I'll look at it, I might do that. <laughs> I have no, I can't remember how much of this I have here. Um, but yeah, that's definitely getting a pair of shorts out of that. And then I also had, this is from Deep Stash. I bought this tinsel twill from Blackbird Fabrics a really long time ago. Back when they used to have their tinsel twill one, tinsel twill two, I mean like years ago I bought this. But it was during one of those remnant sales that she used to do. It's gorgeous fabric. Um, and I bought a few different colors because they she had the remnants and it was like, you know, I think it's still kind of frenzy like this, but when the remnants drop and everyone's like, ah, buy it all! And things are like disappearing out of your cart because someone's already bought it, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but I am going to, I think I have quite a bit here actually. I have no idea how much. But um, it's been in my stash forever and I'm going to make her a pair of, because this is totally her color, kind of this um, pale aqua color, like a muted aqua color. I'm going to make her a pair of the Deer and Doe goji shorts. Now, um, she fits into Deer and Doe patterns really well and really easily. Deer and Doe um, drafts for a hourglass bordering on pear-shaped figure, um, so definitely a big uh, waist-to-hip ratio, and they just fit her so, so well. She's loved everything um, that I've ever made of her for her that has been Deer and Doe. Uh, they had a sale not that long ago, well, maybe a while ago now, um, back in the winter probably, um, and I bought her a few patterns, including the goji shorts and I just bought their three newest patterns because she fell in love with all three um, and we'll talk about that in a second but these are going to be a pair of the goji shorts they're elastic waist I think they're going to be such an easy throw on short for her and she can wear them with all of her t-shirts and um, tie front shirts and all that kind of stuff for the summer okay what else do we have here um all right I have a viscose jersey here in this green tie-dye. I bought this from fabric.com. Again, it was meant to be something for her back in the fall. Just didn't get around to it, but it's going to be the Adrian blouse. And I think that this will just be so easy. Um, the Friday Pattern Company, um, so easy for her to pair with her shorts and still be kind of covered in the sun. And, you know, it'd be really cute. And she loves a statement sleeve. You guys know that. So we're gonna do the tie-dye in that. And I think this is gonna look, I don't know that I'd wear it with the goji shorts, just cause the, well maybe, maybe it'd be a nice monochromatic look, but definitely with the gray shorts and the denim shorts and then her white shorts and her other denim shorts that she already has. So that fabric is gonna be the Adrian. And then um, she needs just a couple of more little t-shirts. And this is the pale pink that I bought. This is like her good, it's way too icy and cool for me. But this is her pale pink. It's the cotton spandex from Minerva. 
um, that I bought in January. And so I'm going to make her a couple more um, t-shirts, maybe maybe some more cashmere at Concords, um, maybe another Carlisle, just kind of depends on what she's in the mood for. Um, I mean, she already has like that pink and white stripe, although she's got paint on the boob of one of those that I made her recently. I got it mostly out, but good gosh. Um, but yeah, some sort of a knit top uh, for her out of this. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll search around a little bit and see what else we got um, to make a cute little knit top. But yeah, I pulled this out so that this gets cut up like soon because I think she'll wear that color a lot in the summer. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the newest, these last two fabrics, the newest patterns from Deer and Doe. I bought all three and I'm pulling this up here so I, I pronounce them correct. Okay, the first one is the Jeannet and it is a wide leg pleated pant. She fell in love with this, but it comes with um, a pant option or a short option. So this will be making the short option. And these, um, this purple, I actually bought for myself, but it turns out it's a little bit more her color and she loved it. So um, it's more her purple. But this is going to be um, the Jeannet shorts, and um, it's a bull denim from Blackbird Fabrics. So when I did, God, they had a sale March, maybe? I don't know. I bought a few things. No, maybe February, because I bought a few things for my spring capsule from them. Um, and this is one of the fabrics I bought, and um, I think I have two meters of it. But we're going to do the Jeannet shorts for her out of this. And then we are also going to do, okay, I want to get these tips <laughs> right. I keep hitting my phone. Okay, so the Jeannet shorts, and then also they've got the uh, Fougere, Fougere overshirt, which is like a shacket um, longer. But one of the versions is a shacket, and it is cropped and elasticated, and it hits right at the natural waist, and that is what she loved. In fact, um, they had it paired um, uh on with in the same color. So it was the same fabric for both the jacket or shacket, whatever you want to call it, and the pants, I think. And it looked like, you know, the shacket was all done up. It looked like a jumpsuit. She loved it. So, and it's also in purple, but we're going to do both of those patterns out of this purple. And I think that, I mean, the jacket probably won't get worn too much this summer. <laughs> But definitely, when fall hits, she'll be grabbing that all the time. Um, and it'll be something nice even, you know, for if we're going to be in the air conditioning or whatever. But she was all over that. So this fabric is going to be both the Jeannet and the uh, Fougere um, patterns. And then the last one that they released is the uh, Hyssop, 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 Hyssop <laughs> blouse. And it's just a cropped, um, it's got a... a um, a scoop neck or a v-neck uh, option and it's got little buttons on the side but it's a woven cropped little uh, tank shell she loved that one too and I have this fabric this is the rifle paper company fabric it is the same print that my red harmony is in but this is in the other colorway which happens to be her colors <laughs> so I had grabbed this when I grabbed mine as well and I bought the last of this so I don't think I have very much I have like maybe a yard and a half, which is plenty for that little tank. But um, I mean, I had to grab it. It was so pretty. So I'm going to make her that little hyssop, hyssop, hyssop. I feel like hyssop branch, right? Hyssop. It's hyssop. <laughs> I know that it's a flower um, or flowering bush, the hyssop. Um, little tank in this fabric. And I don't know, um, I'll ask her if she wants to do the V-neck or the um, scoop neck. I think both would be um, very flattering. So we'll see which one she wants to do. But I'm looking at this with the shorts um, that we'll be making her, plus her white and her other denim. And I, this is gonna be fantastic. So she will get a ton of wear out of this. And it is a rayon chalet. So it'll be nice and cool in the summer and just feel very floaty and uh, all that kind of thing. So. That is what we're gonna be making with that. And I like it with the purple as well. Anyway, so. So there you have it. That is all the fabric I got in the Minerva sale. And then also I've got some stuff from my deep stash here. Obviously I won't be able to link those things that came from my stash, but if I can find them, I'll link them. Um, you know, so like this Rifle Paper Company fabric is probably still out there somewhere, so I can link that, I'll find. Um, I got mine down in Evansville, Indiana, but I bought the last of it. I'll check, though, there first and see if they've gotten more in. But that's everything. I'm looking at the giant pile of fabric now. 
sitting. Now the things I bought for myself I won't be cutting out uh, right now. That I'm going to wait until the um, my summer plans come out. But everything for my daughter I do put in kind of its own drawer, a separate thing, but I'm going to, so I can go through and cut things out um, when I'm doing my five, you know, each batch cutting period. I cut out five patterns, do all the alterations, interface everything, and then they're just sitting there ready to be sewn. Um, and just finding a very efficient way to do things. So just have to sacrifice an afternoon for doing a lot of cutting out. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is going to be good, and this will get her um, started and, and ready to go for the warmer months um, as we get ready to enter that. They only have, I think uh, my friend Jenny said they have 12 days of school left, which is crazy. <laughs> so quickly. Um, so we are definitely coming into the summer months. Okay, guys, that's all I have for today. Um, Friday, I think, is going to be my um, spring capsule at leisure pieces. So I thought that would be just kind of, you know, the sweatshirts I made for myself and kind of the more comfy pants, um, that sort of thing. So that will be up, I think, on Friday. I'm waiting to find out about one more thing. Um, but yeah, I do think that that's going to be on Friday. So um, yeah, you have that to look forward to. I have more things to show you, more Stanton hoodies. <laughs> Um, that you guys haven't seen yet. Some great um, athleisure pants that you saw sneak peeks of if you watched the Me Made May Roundup video last week. Um, but yeah, I've got uh, and a few things you haven't seen yet. So uh, a lot to show you on that. So I think that's going to be on Friday. All right. Other than that, I think that's all I have for today. I hope you guys are having great weather wherever you are. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will see you again on Friday and then I'll be back on Sunday for week two. Um, my Me Made May Roundup week two will be on Sunday. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Have a good one and I will see you next time. Bye.